OK, so let's say I've got these four vectors. They've all been put into a diagram and I've been given the magnitude and their direction and I need to figure out uh, what the vector is in the form of pi plus qj, so in component form. So let's start off with number one. We've got a magnitude of 16 and a direction of 30. Okay, so that's how I've been given that angle. So if I complete this into a right angle triangle, okay, then if I could write down uh, expressions for the opposite side and the adjacent side, that is what I'm looking for. So I know that from Sokotoa, so let's write that down, that if I've got the angle and I've got the hypotenuse and I want the adjacent, then I'll be looking at cosine. So cosine of the angle is equal to the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse. So the adjacent is the hypotenuse times cosine of the angle. So that's 16 cosine of 30. And because now I'm looking at the opposite side, that's sine of 30 is equal to the opposite divided by 16. So that means the opposite side is 16 times sine of 30. So this vector I can write as minus 16 cosine of 30, which is 8 root 3, so minus 8 root 3 i, okay, because I'm going to the left. Make sure you don't make the mistake of just writing down the positive answer. Going to the left, and then we're going vertically up. So 16 times sine of 30 is 8. So that's plus 8j. And so that is the component form for that angle. Let's have a look at number 2. So we've got 145 degrees measured that way. So if I turn this into a right angle triangle, I can find that angle by just subtracting it from 180. So that's 35 degrees. So I would want the adjacent side and the opposite side. Now, for the adjacent, I've got the hypotenuse, I've got the angle. So cosine of 35 is equal to the adjacent over 3. So that means the adjacent is 3 cosine 35. As for the opposite side, sine of 35 is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. So the opposite side is 3 sine 35. So this time I'm going to the left, so it's going to be negative of that, i, take away 3 sine 35j. So 3 times cosine of 35 is uh, 2.457, so 2.46, so minus 2.46i, because we're going to the left, Take away, because we're going down, 3 times sine of 35, so 1.72j, both to three significant figures. So that is the vector in component form for that one. Number three, make a right angle triangle. Okay, if that's 300, then that's 60. So the adjacent side will be 80 cosine 60 and the opposite side will be 80 sine 60 okay so you should get into the rhythm of thinking that like the adjacent side uses cosine the opposite side uses sine so we've got 80 times cosine of 60 so that's 40 so 40 i because we're going in the positive direction, and then take away, because we're going down, 80 times sine of 60, which is 40 root 3 j. Okay, so that's number 3. Now finally number 4, this time the angle is measured against the y-axis, okay, but that shouldn't put us off. Okay, so make it into a right angle triangle. Now this is the adjacent side this time, okay? So this side will be 9 cosine of 42 degrees. 
This is the opposite side, so this is 9 sine of 42 degrees. So in defining the vector, we're going to be going 9 sine 42 plus 9 cos 42, well, 9 sine 42i plus 9 cos 42j. So 9 times sine of 42 is 6.02i, okay? And then plus, because we're going up, 9 times cosine of 42, so it's 6.69j, both the three significant figures. And that's how we can deal with it. Look at drawing a right angle triangle. Adjacent uses cosine, uh, opposite uses sine.